Yeah, and these ones, they don't turn off. Like, once they're on, yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't get them off. Right. Like, you have to go to, like, the... Fuse board. Yeah, Just that's it. Is it broke? Yeah, that's broken in it as well. Did you see that? That just popped out. Hi there, Del Roy the Spark here again. Um, I've got a look at, uh, at the client said uh, when she turns on her lights in the front room and the bedroom, they keep flickering. So, don't know what that is. LEDs or loose connections or whatever. So, I'm gonna go and have a look at it, see what I can do, hopefully film it so you'll see. See you later. In this area, there's no parking restrictions, but there's a train station down the bottom, so the roads get filled up quickly. So I've got, I've, I've had to, just found parking quite away from the job. Well, right up the road, so. If I have to get anything, I'll have to come all the way back up here. But that's London for you. Apparently there are three entrances to this, to this building, but the one that I need, he said, come round to the station. Station's over there. I want 18. 12 to 17. 1 to 11. Okay, it must be up here. Come. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're right, Natalie. Here then. Yeah. It's those spotlights. Right. Um, have they just started flickering or have they done that since they've been in? Um, in all honesty, I think it's a recent problem, maybe in the last few months. The thing is, I bought the flat five years ago. Yeah. I was renting it. So my tenants moved out the end of April. Right. And it was literally just as they were moving out, they mentioned to the estate agent, oh, the kitchen lights are fixing. Okay, yes. okay. Um, and you said some other ones? Yes. So, that's what you Right, get. they're all like... Yeah, and these ones, they don't turn off, like once they're on, Yeah. Yeah. you can't, can't get them off. Right. Like you have to go to like the... Fuse board? Yeah, just, that's it. So, for them to go off now, you have to go to the fuse board to switch Although, them off. Although, when my brother was here yesterday, he just switched the switch and they went off. But mm. it seems to be temperamental. Okay. The carpet man, when he came, he got them to switch off just by pressing it once. Interesting. Oh, hold up. Yeah. Right. And sometimes it doesn't. It will be like that. So it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a weird one. Okay. I've never seen it do that before. So now it's flickering, flickering, then it comes on, and then it stays on now. Turn it off. But you can't turn it off. Okay, it turns off that way. Oh, is it a two way? Well, no, because normally you can switch them on and off from any of these switches. Oh, sorry, it's three switches. Yeah, so there's one just there, one here, and And you can switch them off? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So, on. Oh, yeah, okay. go on. Okay, yeah. it's like it's like the doctor, and it? it's like the dentist. Your teeth are in when you go there; it stops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's still something wrong, though, because oh, you know what? That is a mystery. It is. Right. So okay. So switch this on. Oh, is this a? Yeah. Oh, these are touch switches. Yeah. Oh gosh. You see, the thing is, with these smart things they get on my nerves yeah. <laughs> Mine too. they're not that smart to be honest right to, 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 right switch it off from there no. but tell me something see what's going through my mind straight away mm -hmm. is if we change those switches to just ordinary on and off switches. i'm just wondering if that would do Solve it the problem. you know that's what's come straight to my mind because these touch these touch things, these are these. It's almost like a dimmer thing as well, isn't it? Because when yeah. you press and hold it, they'll dim ah, down. Ah, well, you see, if they're a dimmer, yeah. it could be a problem because if these are LEDs, uh -huh. switching, d dimming LEDs yeah. is, can be problematic. Right. You have to make sure you've got the right lamp with the right switch. switch. So that could be your problem. 
I've got a feeling if you change it to just ordinary switches, mm -hmm. you may lose the problem. Okay. Do, should we try that? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't mind because I'm not... I mean, I don't use the dimming facility. I mean, in the living room, mm. I do, because that one's not a problem, because there's two of these ones, one mm. for the kitchen, one for the living room. Yeah. And I use the living room sometimes for the dimming bit. Yeah. And that works fine, there's no flickering or anything. Yeah. The kitchen one, I actually don't use the kitchen dimmer ones, because there's like some normal pendant lights, and that's the one I always switch on and off. Okay, okay. So it's literally, it's just, this room's the problem, to be honest. Right, there's a fuse board. Okay, let's have a look. See that? It's broken, look. <laughs> That's why I say you should bend them over. Look. Oh, that, is it broke? Yeah, that's broken in it as well. You see that? That just popped out. Look, you can see the broken bits in there. Look, see that? Not good. Uh, Natalie, yeah. look. <laughs> okay, so what about the ones in the front room? Right. What do you want done there? Um, oh, in the kitchen, sorry. It's in the kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. But the thing is, that looks like uh, they're on a four gang switch, aren't they? Yes. I haven't got a four gang switch. You'd have to get an ordinary four gang switch. Okay. All right, because you can use the two pendants. Yeah, the two that's what I use anyway. Okay, well, yeah. if you're happy with that, then, you know. I am, to be honest, because I thought it was just that, because they mentioned... If you're happy with that, then that's the job done. Right. Um, yeah, that was a simple little thing. When it, when it comes to dimming um, LED lights, it's tricky. You, do, you can get that flickering stuff. But that's sorted. Move on to the next one. See you next time.